Hey everyone, today I'm gonna be showing you how to stream your custom water XML to both Vibem and RangeMP servers. So let's start with downloading the Coldwalker, shout out to Dexifex. The latest version for today is uh, Dev36. Uh, you uh, download the archive and unzip it, don't even try launching it from zip. Then you launch Coldwalker and uh, the RPF Explorer. So let's start with actually finding our water XML. Uh, open file location and then after you actually found it you just drag and drop it into your resources folder so uh, here I have my 5m server resources I created a resource called garbage and I just drop my water XML here I would also need a file in the same destination called gda5.meta uh, you will know um, why I need it in a second so let's uh, delete some random water crowd just for for making sure it works in game so in order to actually do that you have to uh, select a water quad let's say this one then you look for coordinates you open your XML through let's say notepad++ plus uh, plus and then you just um, copy the uh, use the control F, control F to use the find function and you see um, minimum x uh, here is minus 344 uh, uh, the first one is matches but, but uh, maximum x doesn't match so we search for the second one and it matches perfectly so I did it from item to item as we see all the values are the same we delete from item to item then we save control s and the next thing we're gonna do to stream it to 5M is uh, to actually modify the path. So inside gta5.meta there is a file destination. So you control F once again and you search for water. And here you see the previous, the old path that you will have to modify. Uh, so in my case, I'm currently streaming it to 5M. We can see that uh, instead of common CRC, it's going to be resources folder, right? We see resources and inside garbage I have my water.xml so once again resources garbage water.xml you could create another folder when you paste these two files but you have to modify path here as well and the last thing you're gonna do is modify manifest.lua uh, this is how it's supposed to look like so replace the meta gd5 is what your meta file called and in files you just announce those two let's check uh, in game the stream file the stream folder might be empty if you want you hear just random stuff so let's uh, launch the game and see if uh, our changes actually took place we can see that it indeed indeed worked uh, so if you actually want to know how to edit uh, water quads and uh, work with water xmls i'm gonna leave uh, this website that explains it very well uh, with various experiments i will also leave a 5m uh, tutorial let's say and uh, that explains some stuff as well now let's uh, go to the next topic is how to actually stream it to your rage mp server we're lucky that in this case uh, rage mp works pretty much like 5m you don't even have to work with dlc.rpfs so uh, I'm inside my RageMP folder, let's go to server files, client packages, game resources, then you're gonna have to create a path for your water.xml, you would have to create a common inside game resources, common, then data, levels, GTA 5, and here you drop your custom edited water.xml. And of course, we would have to use gt5.meta as well, because we modified the path one more time. So, uh, we go back to our game resources, and here in our DLC packs, we create a like, whatever folder. Uh, and here, you don't drop your DLC RPF, you just drop your gt5.meta. And, of course, you modify the path one more time. Uh, in this case, it's gonna be platform, common, data it's exactly how we created the path common data levels gta5 and here your water.xml lies now let's uh, check in game if uh, this actually worked 
after launching the game we can see that it indeed worked so it is the end of the video if you have further questions you can join my discord server if you want uh, take care